for this term is pressure times some, some sort of velocity and look into the change by the term pressure times velocity here would give you work but this one is work done by pressure of surrounding on the fluid okay this term should give you rate of reversible conversion of kinetic energy to internal energy this term is rate of work done by viscous force All right. By physical meanings, each term has its own meanings. But how to come up with these meanings? You need to prove a lot. So at this point, just trust me. Do you trust me? Okay. This is work related to pressure. This is what we call reversible conversion of it, it, the kinetic energy to internal energy that means the flow that's changed convert kinetic energy to be stored in the system as internal energy okay this term is viscous force we are familiar with this term it's related to viscous force but it is work work done by viscous force this term complicated term is called a reversible conversion from kinetic energy to internal energy so this term and that term are related one is reversible the other one is irreversible and the last term is just external work work by external force so if you look into this term rate, rate of work done by pressure and rate of work done by viscous force here these two terms combined would give you rate of work by molecular transport The point is, this equation is related to kinetic energy only. But equation that we derived earlier contains three forms of kinetic energy. Or you can say that this part of equation here gives you just mechanical energy. Kinetic energy is clearly here. This is kinetic energy. Potential energy 
is higher in this term, right? Rate of work by external force. If force here is gravity, you have potential energy higher somewhere in here. So this equation is related to kinetic energy and potential energy only. Whereas equation that we derived earlier has three forms of energy, EK, EP, and U. So therefore, if you take that equation that we firstly derived and subtract it by this equation, if you subtract it, the result will be equation that gives you internal energy only. Okay? Just like, as I said, overall energy balance, you have mechanical work or mechanical energy balance, and then the thermal energy balance. If you want equation for thermal energy, you just take overall subtracted by mechanical energy balance. Okay? If you do that, I'm not going to show you, just give you a result. Okay? Result. you get this equation. By the way, this equation is derived in chapter 3. We skip this part because during that time we don't need to consider energy. But when you look into flow of isothermal system, you still have kinetic energy. Okay? So if you would like to see a detail, it is in chapter 3.4, I think. I'm not sure, but this one is in chapter 3. Okay? So if you start with the equation of energy, overall energy balance, subtracted by equation of mechanical energy, you should get this equation. This equation is called equation of internal energy. And this equation can be used in the system where you have temperature change. Because as I said, whenever you have temperature change, the change in kinetic and potential energy is much, much smaller. You can just drop them, consider only internal energy. Okay? From here, we do not prefer internal energy. U is not preferred we prefer enthalpy. So we just want to convert internal energy to enthalpy by com combining internal energy and PV term because enthalpy is internal energy plus PV. Okay? So you can see that internal energy is H minus P divided by rho, because enthalpy is P plus P, U plus P V, right? And V is just one over rho. Also, we can convert enthalpy into temperature, as we did as we did in our last example. Okay, so starting from here, convert internal energy to enthalpy, and then convert enthalpy to function of temperature. As a result, you get this equation.
All right? The resulting equation is called equation of change for temperature. It is written in the function of temperature. So therefore, it can be used or it, it usually used for the system where you have temperature change. The capital D over capital DT here is substantial derivative. And we talked about that already. This one would be the equation that we are going to use to derive temperature profile. All right, I think you cannot go further. Let's stop here. Any question? here.